All right, here we go. I'm the leader of the pack, so I guess I'll oh, go first. Oh, smells so bad. All right, let's just do it, huh? Just rip it. But I don't remember this table being at this angle. Like everything in here is, is so just move, so move it. We it got just fucking... seems weird that I'd be doing manual labor like that. Take take 30 seconds right now. Get comfortable. What is this, We're gonna be here. 99 loft balloons. We're gonna be here a while. Get comfortable. Picture us walking out of the fucking tunnel right now. Crowd roaring. What tunnel? Mike, Jeff, the best oh. duo on YouTube. Yeah, but what tunnel? Though? It's, it's the basketball starting lineup. When you come oh, out, oh, 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 you know what I'm saying? The basketball courts. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get copyrighted though, so we're gonna have to cut it off. So on YouTube, they're not here now. Can we find a royalty-free version of this? Uh, I, I don't know if there's a royalty-free version of it, but I'll right, find well, something. Okay. We know what we're doing here. Look, I got the prime. I don't even have prime in this. It's actually... You, you don't have a great prime here, do you? No. The purple one? Logan, Why? Logan was looking for it. Actually? Mm. Why? Hard to find that product, dude. That, Isn't that, that your least favorite flavor? It, it's not my favorite, yeah. But prime just in general, dude. The shit just sells like... like uh, <sighs> I like, got a bunch like of crap, crap mixed like, up in here that I tried to make it look pink, so it looked like the flavor. It's not even close. Looks like you got iced tea in there. That is what I have some iced tea mm. blended in there. It's not as healthy. I was trying, bro. You know, they sent over a package. It was nice, but the boys all drank it up. I got endless amounts of it. Yeah. Just no grape. We need the grape. Look, before we start today, I want to say uh, I appreciate what you did just now coming over here and helping us mediate we have some people missing i know we just did the starting lineup song and i didn't even get to announce anybody in the starting lineup because they're not here it's just me and mike and oscar there's been trouble going on there's trouble going on in all crews but most aren't as transparent and vulnerable as us here over at jeff fm studios where we have a wide variety of guests on the show every week just like impulsive <laughs> Isn't this just me and Tana? <laughs> <laughs> People are getting... No, you know what? They're not even sick of it. Because we keep it fun. We keep it exciting. We got the one chip challenge we're going to do today. I'll explain Whoa. that to you in a little bit. I'm not doing that shit. We're going to have to. Why? Your intestines are fucked up or something? Yeah, dude, I've done it before. It's, have you done that yet? No. First time. Can I... Can, I film everything. Can I do, I do something else it. equally like embarrassing or painful? We got some needles like a, around or something. Like somebody shoves on up my ass. Like that that sucks. That thing sucks. You'd rather have something go up your ass on camera than eat a spicy chip? I'd rather have something go up my ass on camera in general. Okay, we're getting sidetracked. I was <laughs> I was gonna say a nice thing to you right now, but I forgot what it was because you're just talking about Anal things sex, yeah. going up your ass. Yeah. See how it goes, you know. Yeah, Mike, uh let me just get through this fucking dick sucking shit before we get into the episode. A good genuine friend in this town is a rare thing and i know that you are one of those and i know that everybody in this crew is is like that you know we're a family over here at jeff fm studios and sometimes brothers fight you know they have little scuffles little wrestling matches and those situations just make you stronger you get an opportunity to get out everything and i said once a year we'll have these talks once a year shit will hit the fan we all talk about what's bugging each other about how we treat each other, respect levels, people want to be gangsters all of a sudden. Fucking, let me just say, I don't give a fuck if people want privacy over here. Everything's out on the internet. <laughs> Steven and Kyle got in a little, little cat fight. Scuffle. A little scuffle here in the house. Pretty serious, too. Yeah, you just mediated it with me. And well, no, I didn't mediate the scuffle. I wasn't like a referee. You, you know? weren't here for that. I had to break that up myself in my own goddamn bedroom. Let me give just a little background. There's been a brewing... Uh, beef, disagreement, uh, unhappiness between the two boys, uh, one being our strongest boy, Steven, strongest boy. And, and the other being, you know, <laughs> the slimmest the, boy, the, op the opposite, I guess, yeah. Kyle. And they've, you know, at once were these very tight friends and bunch Bob and Patrick. I don't know if I want to get into this yet. Let's, let's, let's play it out. So they, they've had this brewing disagreement, which last week led to them, uh, coming to to blows coming to blows coming to blows and and you know as as East Coast guys We've seen a lot of this in our lives. I've definitely fought a bunch Been of my there friends hundreds of times thousands of times, mm -hmm. right? I would say Steven started as the aggressor, but then Kyle was the one to throw the first blow so it's toss-up you know? and then and you walked in and it sounded what like two bears were were going at it to yep. rhinoceri yep I had, it was like a dog fight and mm -hmm. i've been there with nerf before where he would be at the dog park he got into it with a couple pit bulls once it looked like a fucking cartoon ball of smoke with just like paws coming that, out how long is that song that he's playing you think it would uh, stop that very you wanted to add, yeah, let's wrap the scoring it's bugging mike his old 37 year old <laughs> ears 
Mike has a way of doing things, and we will be respectful of that, you know? How long are you going to play it for? Bro, you're a Karen, and we're going to get into that later in the episode. You don't like fun, young things. You act like your mom. I saw Impulsive where Logan said the same thing that I've been saying all weekend, and then it just coincidentally comes up on the show again. We have the same relationship, you know? I'm okay, the, I'm okay, the, let's, let's, I'm the, let's finish I'm the younger, this. jacked <laughs> superstar, and you come in and complain about things like our camping trip. Don't put too many logs on the fire. <laughs> That's not don't, what I said. Don't, don't make the That's campfire too big. I What's said if point? you're gonna put. I said if you're gonna put towel paper. If you're gonna use towel paper to start the fire, make sure it's under the wood so it doesn't flood. Do you? Okay. Do, do you what remember Smokey right the Bear? Do you remember the dude that says no forest fires, kids? We had it contained. Homie, we were warming. Homie, we there warmed, was we giant were... fluffy rolls of toilet paper floating in the air, burning embers in the Yosemite. If a fire starts, I'm throwing this out there right now. I'll be a Karen and a snitch at the same time. If any certain amount of acres of Yosemite burn down this season, Jeff Wittick is to blame. Jeff Wittick, if a if a group of That's brown bears... Okay, I saw them. I saw those embers floating into the fucking sky. I, I just woken up. It's legal to have a, a campfire on a campground because if you don't have a campfire, what are you doing? You're not even camping. Oh, You're just in is, the fucking woods. But, but you should be using controlled tactics such as we were you it you said know, 10 brush, feet at the maximum on, flame we had a maybe our two feet two and a half feet we you were warmed, spraying we all warmed, that toothpaste flammable liquid all over the it. fire it was like a chemical hazard it i was, was like it was like you. you tried to turn i don't the know how we ended up chernobyl. here chernobyl i don't know how we ended up here but i started off complimenting you and we warmed the whole village if it was up to you we would have bodies frozen, thawing out At right now. At that point, the time you got the fire going, it was 65 degrees. I was hot. I wanted you to put the fire out. You turned the temperature at the campsite up too much. See, this is what I'm People saying. Look sweating. at how mad you are. Look at how mad you are. I'm fucking around. You're genuinely pissed off. You guys could learn from this show here that we do. Um, I don't know how we ended up here, <laughs> but the boys will come in shortly. We'll get well, more we into hope. camping. We had to just had a whole... Well, let's finish this up. So they, they got in a fight. <clears throat> it's been a, uh, well, a couple days since the fight happened. Mm-hmm. And we had been meaning to do this podcast because we had a podcast that we owed to the your beautiful Jeff FM audience. Weekly which, but episodes. really quickly, I'll say this quickly. One of the smartest, most intelligent creative audiences on the internet. And yes. If, if you're going to deliver content, somebody deliver it to them because they deserve it. They've worked hard their whole Let's lives. Let's get through this. We knew we had to shoot an episode. You said, yo, do you think they can come a little bit early? Because I'd like you to sit with these two as they try to figure out exactly what it is that that is causing this rift, this tragic rift between mm-hmm. two friends, which we found out was, you know, a mixture of uh, sadness, jealousy, envy, cocaine, Bryce Hall. I mean, the factors involved in this were mm-hmm. mind blowing. <laughs> I know. TikTokers, drug users. Got use. emotional out there for that. Yeah, talk. it's just crazy. I couldn't believe how many things were combined. Chargers thrown at faces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, hide entry fees. Like, just there was so many things. It was hard for me to even keep Yeah. That. Our, our content jokes bled over into reality. And you, uh, coming from a one of the most complicated content groups in the biz probably the first one the low gang you guys ran into your issues over the years and you have a lot of insight on how to deal with these situations so i'm happy i brought you in kind of as a it's like you were like the leader of an aa meeting like a mediator and that's the thing too it's like for for people watching this like lean on the people that you know have gone through the things that you're trying to solve that seems like such an easy thing and 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 everyone would know that like why don't i ask somebody who's already done this before like dude me and logan have had some of the most high profile fights that youtube has ever fucking seen bro Mm -hmm. we've been horrifying dude that garnered billions of views for a bunch of morons that talked about them yeah and they were real they were all very real dude like we we didn't talk for weeks, even almost a month at a time, you know, that and, and had to come and have that same t- kind of come to Jesus. But we did it without mediators mm-hmm. in open parks and there were fists involved. Oh, no, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. No, but no. we would just sit and we would, you know, the thing with, with a lot of that kind of stuff, when there's disagreement and, and envy and struggle like that, a lot of times it's just time, bro. And it's the last <clears throat> thing you want to hear. It's the last thing you want to hear when when you're upset with someone in your life, when you're upset with someone that you love and you want to just solve the problem, that only time can help. Uh, Drake said this in his in his interview. I don't want any Drake quotes on this podcast. It's not a quote. It's just like a, a rule for life. I think somebody will appreciate it. He said that when he gets angry, he calls it the 72-hour rule. If he gets angry at somebody, he pauses for 72 hours yeah. before making any kind of major decision on it. And then he comes back because, dude, time is so important. You know what's funny? I gave these guys the fight happened about 72 hours ago. 
Yeah. And I gave them a couple days to, to, to let that adrenaline all fade. And you've had a couple nights of sleep on it. And <clears throat> yeah, the, the uh, what was I going to say? Fucking Drake. I, I, what did you just short out for a second? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want some CBD? I just took one. I think I, I had too much. I think, these, that, I think that's the problem. How many of these am I supposed to take? Uh, I did two today. Did you do more than that? I did one. Should I take a second? Sure, yeah. Get something in your stomach, because once we do this one chip, it's going to be rough. I ain't doing that fucking thing, dude. Yeah. I'm 37 years old. I ain't doing the one chip challenge. I already did it. They call it the one chip challenge. You know how many times I've done it? Twice. And by the way, you do it outside with 10 gallons of milk around. You will not survive if you don't have something to, to fucking put that fire out. You know how we roll over here? I went downstairs to the liquor store and they had no milk. Oh, okay, that's fine. Just have the two, have the two do it. The two boys. That'll do be a it. good bonding experience. Yes, that's right. We told them you need to actively work on this stuff, and it's not going to be easy. You know, it'll be awkward for a little bit, but you guys could work through it. You know, the strongest boy and the most loyal boy, they will work it out. I believe in them. And they got a real friendship. I posted today on Twitter. Should we check on them? You think one of them? You're going to go out, and only one's going to be on the balcony. I see shadows out there that are moving okay. kind of quick. And that's fine if they're, if they're shadows. I posted on Twitter today, I wrote, uh, <laughs> I like everybody, but I only fuck with a couple people. Like, really fuck with a couple people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean that. Like, you see me out on any given night, bro. I'm friends with everybody. Mm -hmm. I hang out with everybody. I'm, I love everybody, bro. But I only fuck, really fuck with a couple people. Yeah. You're one of them. Okay. That's, that's you know nice. That, but yeah, you know yeah, that. yeah. You know I figured that. that. Yeah. Like, I genuinely am excited to hang out with you, bro, and like and be friends with you. You know? But it's important that you treat people that that you fuck with when you get in fights. You got to work it out. Uh, well, you say that now uh, about, you know, genuinely wanting to hang out with me and stuff like that and, and the boys here. But over the past nice weekend, we, we gave nice you transition. a tough time. <laughs> because, a podcaster, aren't you? Yeah, I've been doing this a while now. We, well, I and the guys, we like to break your balls because you get very mad. And it's funny to see you mad. It's good content. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good content. And I didn't know if, you know, just nonstop, a nonstop weekend of pranks would play off funny in our video that we were shooting on a little fucking camcorder, but I was trying to do something different. You know, we discussed this. I mean, I don't even know how to explain this without sounding like a psychopath or an idiot. But They'll get it when the video comes out. I said that, you know, this week I want to try something different as a creator here, always making the same types of vids, you know, every week. Yep. Somebody sticking a camera in your face saying, make us laugh, you yep. know, make a funny video. What if I don't want to make a funny video this week? What if I want to spook people? And what did we do? I said it on Impulsive. I told the story on Impulsive. I know, but they didn't give a fuck. It was, no, that's not true. It was everybody, one of everybody's favorite story. It got clipped on TikTok. Oh, shit. yeah? Yeah. Hila Bro, you're a psychopath. The problem is, is that it's not the problem, but maybe people know this, maybe they don't, but we, we go and we, like, we try to like... Um, <clears throat> two-man content on the same trip mm -hmm. i mean bro it's tough it's real tough because i go there and i need you i i need my my co-host for that vlog to really be a i part guess of i'm the technically content. a co-host on the night shift now i'm 100%, a cast member 100 percent. you're one george is one logan's mm -hmm. one and there's a bunch of girls and whatever right Dave, david you, and you david kind of rotate in and out yeah. the girls yeah and so when i need you you're rotating the women in and out and they're disposable so that's all good but with me <laughs> I'm a I'm a recurring cast member and yeah. I'm kind of it's it's important if I just disappear. Well, it's no, more people so, will be asking questions. Wait, whoa, 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 where the fuck's Wittick? You know, something that's happens. Not what to I'm, Steven, mm, whoa, 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 what the fuck? No, nah, actually, I not, ice him all the time. That's not what I'm saying. They do ask where you are, certain people, but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you specifically are very pertinent to the content because I try pertinent like, a word. Yeah, it means like paramount. Fuck this parent. It just it's means, it just means important. It's, it's of utmost importance. Paramount Plus, the streaming Yeah, Paramount platform? means like very important or like the best, like one of the okay. best. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And you are that because when I have you on the trip, I, I actually, it's the only time I ever script anything or skit anything. As Oscar once said, everything on the night shit is fake. I got a story of him. Not. I got a story of him uh, like directing like the scene. He's like, this is how you have to see it. And I'm like, everything's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Which it's not, but certain we you know we do the thing where you kick the door open. Obviously, obviously that's. But um, you, you're you're calling me out as a Karen. That's what we need to bring this back to, right? 
And it's it, it's something I've been thinking about lately. And I know a lot of people watching the show will also relate to this. I have this issue in my brain where I feel like I have to be in control of everything and everybody at all times. I it's wouldn't have noticed horrible. this if I never it's met your horrible. if I never met your mom. I you can't do that. Only Logan can do that. You no, don't know no, because well this enough. is what I said to you on the fucking camping trip. I said the same shit. I was like, bro, you act like your mom. Oh yeah. And your mom says these sayings like you get supper and program <laughs> and all the like sayings that you say. No, but I do those. To, I do those as a joke. Well, you get it from your mom. You, I see so much of your mom and you, those especially like when you're mad about stuff, like when you're complaining about the, don't put too many logs on the fire. What the fuck? Who gives a fuck how many because logs you, I'm putting on the because fire? The reason I said that is because we were about to leave. And it was my job to make sure that the fire was out before we left. It's 10 a.m. We're leaving at 12. You're building a fucking one of those things like a uh, Burning Man at where they burn down the whole guy. It's like 60 <laughs> feet high in the air. No, we have to leave. A, that's you a, can't that's build an a exaggeration. giant fire. No, that's an exaggeration. It was 8 a.m. You had just woke up. You hadn't had, you hadn't had coffee yet. So that's probably oh, what it was. so grumpy. Yeah, you're grumpy before coffee, which is I'm normal. I'm also old, Jeff. I'm 37. You get grumpy when you're old. Yeah. I hadn't slept. I had fucking fake snakes. Well, that's being why there's no young. Tent. There's no young Karens out there. You know, they're all at that forty middle aged where like life starts getting hard. So they're gonna just find shit to complain about. You know, my life's harder than everybody else's. That's what. That's kind of what I see myself doing that too. That's not you know? true. It's just. It's just, bro. You. Just, I had once again. We were there. Certain people had partaken in 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 psychoactives. They were having a good time. I got a motherfucker with a Ouija board. Not me. Pulls out a Ouija I didn't board. Well, no somebody. I'm not saying you did, but I'm saying there were people guests there that fucking did. And you come out with a Ouija board. There's a dude pulling a snake on a string. A Pentecostal star. A fucking man in a gorilla outfit oh, running out of the woods. Goofy little spooky place. Yeah, yeah, but for people on mushrooms, they thought it was real. And now two of them, I don't know if you know this, are at Cedar Sinai in the hospital. They <laughs> never came. I'm dead that's serious. Not. They went. They went, after the Ouija board came out. They went in the car. Two days later, they told me that they couldn't stop having spasms, and that every day they were waking up in the middle of the night thinking about this gorilla and this Ouija board and the Pentecost star. They're locked up in Cedar Sinai. Okay, in well, the, I apologize the for the victims of the Ouija board and the spasms I'm that they're getting out, out there. there. We pushed it a little too far, but. Like I said, we have this great relationship, a real friendship in real life, and we have this content relationship, too, where you come and do Jeff FM, I come do the vlogs, and it's a great relationship. But but also, you know, not to keep turning it into lessons, welcome to the big leagues, buddy. You know that. You know how life goes. Mm -hmm. You know how life goes. You know how many days for people watching this this program right now not to say it, but watching this program mm -hmm. you know how many days they're going to wake up after their fucking dog gets diagnosed with kidney cancer or their mom is it, it, you know is kicking them out of the house for this reason or that reason or you know their grandfather dies and they got to get up the next day and they got to go to that fucking construction site or they got to clock into the fucking office and clock into work and show up with a smile yeah. and and some Karen's at the register like this was marked 98 cents why am i being charged a dollar 6 for it that's life and that's fucked up bro and it's something i think about all the time especially for us because it is so important that we show up to these episodes with positive energy yeah. we, may, we have to make people laugh and there's a lot of days as we've said it and i'm not i'm not going back to the joke about spooking people because we do want to spook people sometimes, sometimes i want to spook, spook people. people but there's a lot of days bro where i mean i i think back to i always this is one that stands out to me in early 2021 i went through a real bad stretch me and Logan got in that fight real bad. He, he, you know, I was kicked out of the house. I got COVID, and then in the same week, my my best friend from Connecticut died in a in a motorcycle accident. My friend Mike Crocky, um, a really really important friend of mine who I was close with after I got clean, and he was clean as well. And it, it was a really sad time for me. It was so strange that I was gonna have to go on camera and make a vlog. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And not tell anyone. Because mm -hmm. we weren't talking about, oh, I have COVID. You didn't say that. You didn't tell people you had COVID because then you were go back into your fucking woodshed, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or And I didn't want to bum people out and talk about the fact that I'd lost my friend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so it's it's just, it's a weird thing about life that you have to just stomach that shit, bro. And hopefully people have someone to talk to. And hopefully somebody have people to spill. Some, sometimes you have someone to spill it to or a therapist or a parent or a friend. It is nuts how... You know, in the human condition, we're expected to just simply show up to work. Yeah, and fucking yeah. Put on a smile. I have a problem with that because you know we have to podcast a lot, and I do the live streams on Patreon, so I feel like I overshare. I'll come on these things, and if I have something on my mind, the only way I could 
get to something else is sharing that. You know, I have to tell this story. Like, why the fuck did we have to talk about Stephen and Kyle's beef? Yeah, maybe people could take from it and That's learn from hoping, it. That's what I'm hoping, yeah, learning lesson. Yeah. But who knows how he explained it. If it even made sense, they might have just skipped through it. Like, when the fuck are they done talking about these 22-year-old we idiots? We want to hear about the girls at the fire. Yeah, yeah, like we want to hear yeah. about the spooky, <laughs> the spooky camping <laughs> trip where the where there really ghosts out there. I'm learning more and more, dude, that every time I, I have a good thought or you have a good thought as people in our 30s, but you barely mm -hmm. meet a decent amount in. Anytime we have a thought that we can lend something of value back to the audience, it may seem, uh, uh, in, you know, not as important to us. What was the word I was looking for? Uh, inconsequential? I don't know. It might not seem as important to us, but these kids, a lot of them, 18, 20, like these younger guys, they take a lot from it, dude. They really do. I've been noticing more and more that a lot of the stuff that's clipped that I talk about is stuff that's, uh, you know, life lesson real based, shit. motivational. I told, uh, I had this really big spiel uh, on the last impulsive about taking a minute in your life to stop and pump the brakes and look backwards at how far you've come because we get so tied up, bro. Like, look at me and you every single day. What's the next brand deal? What are we shooting this week? What are we doing? And you never take a second to say, holy shit, dude. Look where you were two years ago. Look where you were five years I ago. I was here. I moved in this apartment but whatever, two fuck years you, ago. Jeff, you know what I'm saying? Look where you were five years. Think back to the time when you were in prison. I think back to the time when I was fucking sniffing heroin. Yeah. Do you the, know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that. really sit here and think to yourself, yo, look at what I have done with my life, dude. Look how far I've come. Like, you got to take time to zoom out every once in a while and, and say, yo, I'm proud of myself. Everybody yeah. watching this should do that right now, bro. Like, look at where you are right now in your life and say, yo. I'm actually really proud of myself, and I want more for myself, but damn, I'm proud of where I am. Got a roof over my head. Friends. Mm -hmm. Family that cares about you. That's right. These are things a lot of people take for granted, bro, and they don't keep that perspective. It's very important, bro. Yeah. And I had a lot more of it after the camping trip. You know, the two my two happiest days of the past year were the days after Yosemite. I swear to God. After? In, yeah. Wait, so you finally when got I away got from back, me? No, 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 no. I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that. I, I thought just, you were going to say the two days on the trip that we had. That that too, but I think just having that time in nature, bro, and, and spending that time with a group we, of friends. You say the Airbnb. It was, one, it was one spooky night, and then we did. You know what I mean? I just mean like we hiked up the fucking rocks to the... Um, to the water, yeah. to the glacier, you know, water that had come down from the waterfall. And it was so beautiful to get back into nature. And, bro, like, honestly, now, like, even leading into that, I just haven't had the desire to be going out and doing the same shit, bro. That was rough for me, that 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 specific hike. hike I, I didn't have a blast that day. I know, I can't believe that happened well, too, bro. Well, it's an accident, so I couldn't really get mad about it. But I was shooting a different type of video, like we said earlier, you know, going for something new. Spooky, uh, spooky style. And we were shooting the whole thing on a, on a VHS camera, and we didn't back up the footage. Everything I shot was on this little 15-year-old camera. And Kyle was holding it. He was climbing on the rocks. He dropped it in the fucking water in the Yosemite Glacier Pond, uh, the waterfall. And I was devastated because you can't put a price on that. Like, yeah, if you have a brand deal in it, I guess technically you put a, put a price on it or how much money you'd make from the video, but... Yeah, it was my, it was my creative project. You know, I felt like I was putting together a puzzle, and it was like one of those puzzles that take like a week to put together. It's really fucking big, a lot of pieces. And then Kyle just came in and fucking, fucking threw it all in the air, threw it in the in the water. You know, all your fucking creative work is done. There was and so you're fumbling the fucking bag once again. <laughs> There's so many people who. Who looked at you that day? Like, think about all the the NPCs that were at that pond that day, and like mm -hmm. even like even like sub NPCs that are in our group. You know what I'm saying? Like the girl, the girl. Oh, like they, my head like, is bro, just in my hand. Yeah, yeah, like that. And everybody was looking at you like, ah, I wonder if he's going to go swimming soon. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And, and I, I'm just miserable. only one person in that whole Yosemite that day knew exactly what you were feeling. And when I when I saw you, bro. I knew that I that pain is so palpable to me. The, like, I tell David all the time. I said, David, because he's left the camera at valet stands. Yeah, he's he's put the he's, you know, we've driven a mile away from the shoot, and he's been like, oh no, the camera. Remember, he left it at re the restaurant that day on fucking in yeah. Beverly Hills. And yeah. We waited to go back for it. I said to him, David, take the memory card out and throw the six thousand dollar camera off a cliff for all I care. I don't give a fuck about the camera we'll get a new one but if you lose that footage yeah if you lose the content i am going to kill you <laughs> i'm going to fucking murder you and dispose of the body you'll never be found when i saw your face that day i knew 
how bad it was. Yeah, bro. just good memories and stuff on there. Whether the video even makes it out or it might be a complete piece of shit project. No, it's but, not. It's gonna know. be fucking incredible. Yeah, gonna, be, I think it'll be cool. Got this dumb look on my face, like, what oh, you I got done? trapped in the closet. Damn, that brings me back to summer school. <laughs> I think that was junior year, my first year I had to do summer school. But I, you know what, looking back, that shit sucked. But I had a blast that summer, being in summer school, going to school in the summer. And that R. Kelly 10-part series of, of songs. Yeah, when he was trapped in the closet. Him being trapped in the closet because yeah. he was having an affair. with not it wasn't, crazy what happened with him? They were a cop and like, like a, a... Yeah, it was a weird... A little person Yeah, in, there was involved. a lot of, is, is that all accurate? I have he no was idea. what? Yeah, he was had, and he had a, a hide in the closet, it. right? Because yeah. the, the, the little the dwarf cop was coming home. Was fucking <clears throat> his girl or some shit? Or Isn't is... it crazy the trajectory of R. Kelly, dude? Like he was, bro. He was the man. Yeah. Like I just remember, bro. Like Teen Night. When I went to Teen Night, dude. Like he Teen was, Night, bro. He was the where you would have your first dances. You had, Did you, you have your... Teen Nights, Oscar? I remember there being like foam parties. The, bro, your Teen Nights were fucking. Wild. We didn't have none of that. Yeah, no. I we, we, we had a DJ on yeah, a like basketball a, or court, or like one of those big bowls of juice, like a punch. That would yeah. never fly That's nowadays. What I'm saying. Yeah, because there'd be fucking yeah. <laughs> Even the tea, especially if R. Kelly <laughs> was involved. Who knows what would be in the punch, bro? Yeah, he'd be <laughs> peeing in that. <laughs> nice timing. That, that was the that first time good. ever on this show. Damn, the show. Damn, Oscar, Oscar, you're quick. <laughs> that was with good. That. But dude, yeah, R. Kelly, talk about fall from grace, dude. Yeah. Should we loop back to the footage getting lost? Oh, oh yeah. Oscar we... wants a shout out because he fixed it. He got the, he fa- he got the fucking hard drive. Oscar comes in, saves the day, and yeah, the good job, Oscar. No, I, honestly, I, honestly, I thought it was funny because Mike's like, film this, and then he's like, it was the fucking Ouija board. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. What it was it wasn't the Ouija board. I don't know about those oh, things. I, I, yeah, I think they're... yeah, dude, that's very strange. I told him that. I said. The day after he brought the Ouija board out and thought it was all fun and games, like who's here? Tell us who. Yeah, but we burned and then it up. Burned the Ouija board, and then R. Kelly style pissed all over it in the fire. Oh, thought that was all right. fun and games. Then the next day, your camera gets dropped in the shit. David call says you you made it all up. Your whole weekend <laughs> falls apart. Your whole weekend yeah. thought it was all a big joke. Yeah. Now me on the other hand, I said I don't fuck with the Came Ouija back, board. They fought in the I house. Got, yep, fights happening. I didn't said I don't fuck with the Ouija board. My videographer met a nice girl. I got great content. I had a great burger review. My weekend was great. I came back. It was peaceful. I had one of the best weekends ever because I don't fuck with Ouija. You want to know what I did while you were Ouijaing? I prayed to Jesus. Wow. Yeah. All right. All right. I, I so, guess I believe you. Think about. I believe you. Great camping trip, though, nonetheless. When when does this come out? This video? This podcast? Probably soon. Right? Yeah, tomorrow. So for anybody listening to this... Uh, we got great Yosemite content coming out. Okay, my, my, uh, this isn't a fucking pr- vlog promotion for thing. For you. For you, what the fuck? It's a separate separate show, different channel. They'll figure Jeff, it out. You, They're watching here. You almost here. cut my finger off. That's something we could oh, talk yeah. about because uh, the finger thing, that was part of a, a vlog. The last vlog I posted, we talked about it, but that finger thing, that's another Karen thing. You've been blaming me for that, and that was all you, bro. No, I didn't it? cut your finger. No, what's... Can you okay? I'm gonna direct this at it's, the audience because I don't. As of right now, I don't fuck with you for the next thirty seconds. As, let me explain but, something. No, 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 because no, you do this all the time. You're like, let me say something. Let me say something. You yep. say it fucking a hundred times on impulsive. Just say it. You're on a podcast. You got a microphone in front of you. That's just good, fucking. That's say actually it. a good note. But that's a good note. But let me just say this. The really thing. No, 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 no. Listen, <laughs> listen. The finger thing. It's easy. To put the blame on somebody else when shit like that, like you're look, not you, explaining you got, it you got, properly. You got, you're not explaining it. Pro- Imagine if you're in the audience right now. You, to you go to the barber shop. You go to the barber shop. They drape a nice fucking thing over you. You're getting a haircut. You got your phone in your hand. You're scrolling TikTok to look at your crush's TikToks. Your mom texts, "Hey, honey, supper's gonna be." A- Dinner's going to be on the table tonight. We're having fucking chicken sandwich. Hold on a second. Let me finish. Your day's going swimmingly. They're playing music. It's a remix to it. Everything's you fine. Stop. Stop. You Stop. didn't go Stop. to a barbershop. I understand that, but you I went still to a wanted the same fucking treatment as a barbershop. Listen to me. Me, on the other hand, I say, yo, can I get a shape up? Best, by the way, one of the best barbers. I'm excited. I'm sitting there getting a shape up. Here, Hold a razor blade. How is that part of the barber? Here, do you mind, sir, customer, client, holding a fucking razor blade? Okay. And by the way, you did, if you had said hold this razor blade, that would have been one thing. You simply handed it to me. 
You disguised it. As far as I'm concerned, you did it on purpose. You wanted to get a haircut at a restaurant yeah. to put on a show for no. content. Nope. You got girls Timing around. Up. You're like, look, let me do this Gideon thing. It's a popular trend now on YouTube. All the kids are doing it. They're getting haircuts in weird places. So you try to piggyback on that. You want to ride that wave. I wasn't even shooting. Now, I take I my blade shooting. out. Well, we were shooting it. You'd probably ask for the footage after if you didn't fuck, <laughs> if it didn't go wrong and you got embarrassed of it and then blame me for your fucking accident that happened so i crack a blade a fresh blade i got my razor there that's the only thing i brought to give you a shape up on your beard and so it's sanitary i give you a fresh blade that's good you get points for that right yeah of course that no, okay that was good. okay we're off to a good start professional now i don't want this blade to end up on a on a dinner table with a bunch of innocent people around that got no part of this fucking clout move that you want to get a haircut at the table so i crack the blade each blade a fresh blade comes with two so I give you the other one so nobody else cuts themselves. Now you got anxiety. You're fucking crumpling this thing up. Your foot's shaking as you're talking. You're like this. You're like, do we get the shot? Do we get the shot? And you're holding the blade. What do you mean, did we get the, the shot? The bill's coming I wasn't out. Filmed. There was no bill. It was We had appetizers. The check you're was not coming. Even churning and a good you, and, fake story. And, and, and your you, fake story's even wrong. You're looking at this like, oh, damn, this, there's 20 people at this dinner at Tao. This bill's going to be 1300 I don't that, want. It was a comp dinner. I don't want to pay owner. half this. <laughs> what the fuck? So you slice your thumb on purpose. This is just a, a this is an assumption, all right? And oh. maybe I'm fucking wrong for assuming this, but it wasn't my fault. You cut your own finger, something bad happened to you. Shit happens to everybody, as we discussed in the beginning of this podcast. Everybody has problems in life. You're you not know, the only one. Do you know? So don't put your, pro your problems on somebody else. It's an accident that you caused on yourself. I was there being a good friend, trying to give you a shape up. You sliced your thumb. You went to the fucking hospital, you got stitches, then you went back out to the Do club. you want to know one of the biggest you issues? You got three podcasts out of it. You want to know one of you're the biggest welcome. issues with what you just did? I gaslighted you. First of all, that's not a real term. So I don't know what you're saying. Is that like when you take gas and create fire? Is that fire? You fired me? Here, I'm not even going to say what I was going to say because I do want to say this instead. I left that debaucherous haircut where you, where you purposely sliced my finger off. Because yeah. you wanted to steal the girls from London from me. They didn't even steal them. They were just talking well, to me. You know exactly what I'm talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I had two t tings, actual tings, and you know damn fucking well they were, sh that were in New York, that I'd been talking to both of them, that I had met one in London and had a great time with. She's absolutely beautiful. The friend's beautiful. They were both at the dinner. Yes, there were 17 other girls there, but those were the two I was focused on. And I'll always remember that when I was in the hospital, I'll just say, on my deathbed, okay? Oh, I thought you were saying for the thumb. I'm like, bro, no, it's so dramatic. No, I am. When I was in the hospital on my deathbed with my thumb bleeding out, okay? They had to, they had to incub intubate me and had to give me a blood transfusion because I was losing so much blood. Yeah. I'll remember that when I FaceTimed you and I said, yo, Jeff, yo, tell my mom, bro, like, you know, I did the best I could, whatever. All I saw was you and those two girls in the background, and you were taking them from the restaurant to a nightclub, and you left with them, with the two <laughs> girls that I liked. Yeah. And you went and you spent the rest of the night with them. All right, today's episode is sponsored by my friends at SeatGeek. Summer concerts are still here, and that means you can get $20 off tickets with promo code JEFF. SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone, and it's by far the easiest way to buy tickets. With so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. I'm talking Bad Bunny, Post Malone, Lizzo, and so much more. SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means you're getting a good deal, and red means you're getting a bad deal. And don't worry, I got the hookup. Use code Jeff for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Jeff. Make sure you click the link in the description below to download the app. I'm actually going to be at the Bad Bunny concert when this episode comes out. Oscar will be at the Bad Bunny concert. And where did he get the tickets? You guessed it. SeatGeek. Sea <laughs> Thank you, my friends at SeatGeek. Once again, for supporting the show. We love you, SeatGeek. Now, back on with the show. Hey, you see that new Jeffrey Dahmer show, huh? I haven't seen it. I've been no? hearing some news about it. And this country and this world is obsessed with murder. So yeah. I'm sure it's doing great. I don't know why. Jeffrey is intelligent and articulate. That is what makes oh, him Oh, we're going to so get a boatload of sound bites out of this show. I watched the first episode, and it was 
I was, I was I like, this was is, really I was violent. like, this is going to flop. This is so depressing. Yeah. But like you said, people love murder. It's, it's insane. And there's actually a guy out there that was actively murdering people and then eating yeah. their hearts. Yeah. And he was like, it wasn't like he tried it once, you know? But there's actually people out there that could be programmed to want to do that. You know, that's fucking scary. Like, I've met, I met murderers before when I was locked up. Like, I, I shared a bunk with a guy that was in there for murder. And they seem like normal people, you know? For the most part, like, they seem stu- the kid that I was with seemed dumber, but everybody in jail seems dumb. But like, what do you think? That's like one in a billion people are, like, cannibals? I don't know the exact statistic as to how many people are statistically cannibals in the world, but it's crazy. I mean, like, what? I, it's like, hard how to- many of them you think are amongst us walking around that haven't been caught yet? In Hollywood, a lot, probably more. There's probably a higher per capita cannibal count in Hollywood than normal. Like, you know those, you see the people out on the streets here. They're yeah. All, they all look like they've recently eaten a human. Like, how many people, but I don't think Oscar, it's a, how many I, I people on the course I, of a given day, when you're driving down Hollywood Boulevard, do you <clears> see that you could quite literally imagine picture eating a, a, an arm? I, I mean, don't think it's that prevalent. I yeah. think... I think it's more like a rare case. Like, you ever see those giant Chinese guys? Like, they'll be, yeah. like, in, in those old pride fighting things. Maybe it's just my YouTube channel that recommends them to me. But you'll see, like, that fucking giant guy. Like, the huge oh, Asian yeah, that dude. One, he ended up well, dying, right? Of like he a had to die. Yeah. yeah. He was, like, eight feet tall at, like, 20 years yeah, old. Yeah, I remember. He was a, and he would box people, right? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, that. yeah. I don't think he was even that good, but... You know, he was just so big that it was like a spectacle. You know, this is just a freak thing. So maybe if somebody's genetics could be just like tweak that little tiny bit to make them eight feet tall, then maybe that's the same shit that just tweaks you. This guy, let's let's make this person yeah, want to eat people's small genetic, hearts. Yeah, it's small genetic inconsistencies. You know, it really makes you think, dude. Like as we sit here like tactically contemplating, how could I make tomorrow a better day? How could I make my brand deals more? Bro, somebody could literally, in five seconds as we're walking outside, today's video is brought to you by Dr. Squatch. <laughs> Blow our brains out and then eat our fucking legs, bro. Yeah, and like, then Netflix is going to make a show, a show on it and it. our families are going to be like, what the fuck? We don't get any money like, out of this? House? Not just that, but there's like a lot of things. This is disrespectful because they're real true stories and you're making content out of it. And the families don't get to eat nothing off that. They don't get paid They don't anything. get to even eat the people. They don't get nothing. <laughs> they don't eat. I don't I don't think they want it because nah. they have that personal relationship. Maybe it's like, like it's a, probably hard to eat somebody. Harder to eat somebody you know. Yeah, yeah. which, I'm gonna which eat also somebody. has happened. Which, yeah, there, there was a the plane crash. No, there was this guy that got his leg amputated recently, and uh he got his leg cooked, and all his friends like ate it. No way. Yeah, that's gotta oh, be illegal. That. That's- I saw that. It, it, there was there was some implication. I think it was they weren't arrested, but I did see that he he, he, he chefed it up. He had his fucking leg. Pull it up. He had his leg amputated. They shifted, shifted up, and they all ate it. They cooked it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer was cooking up his tacos. He made tacos out of his amputated leg. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa Before whoa. you guys get started, look at what we're looking at right now. Whoa! Did you guys bond this much that you're doing doing goofs together now? <laughs> Kyle showing some skin. This is new. What's up, boys? All right. This is what I like to see right here. Speaking of eating people, look at this juicy body right here. <laughs> There's no way. I after was just saying just I would never want to eat somebody, and then just, you come strolling here with those fucking nips out. Look at those pepperonis. <laughs> Damn. Oscar, order Pizza Hut right now. Jeff, Pepperoni. I'm getting hungry. What are you doing? What? We just talked about this Jeff, out there. Jeffrey Dump. No, stop. We Whoa. literally just talked about potentially a little bit of an increase on the respect levels in this group oh, and, yeah. you immediately, yeah. and you immediately started. yeah i see what you're saying that steven that was completely a joke he's he doesn't care but also at the same time is now, your mic off because bro you're gonna no. bro because you're gonna make it weird because now oh. he's gonna feel weird laughing at the joke you know what i'm saying no like he, we were talking about jeffrey dahmer and then you came in here with that no, beautiful body care. out that's sh- the strongest boy right here and then you know i was saying how could you be so sick to want to eat people and then you come that's strolling funny. in here pr- prank me showing skin and i'm like you know what i get it <laughs> so these this guy Oops. had to get his leg amputated and all his boys ate it they ate the leg they cooked it up and ate it like a steak did you find out who jeffrey dahmer's first victim was no his name was steven no, no way. way he was a hitchhiker Get the fuck out of here. I swear to God. Look it up. It's weird. Jeffrey and Steven and Jeffrey oh, eats Steven. You just call them a piece yeah. of meat. And I was just saying, look at those nips. It's making me hungry for a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> this is all too perfect. And you had just pulled out the Ouija board recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of weird spooky stuff spooky happening, stuff. but it's a spooky season. How did you how did your guys combo go outside? Good. Yeah. 
it seems like it went well. You guys are back sure. to doing pranks. What prank? I mean, I mean, you guys had a lot more clothes on before when we were outside mediating that. It was hot outside. Okay, so now this is what we're doing, deadpan pranks on me. All right. All right, today's episode is sponsored by Mudwater. Mudwater is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs with a fraction of caffeine that a cup of coffee has. You get energy without the anxiety, jitters, or crash of coffee. Each ingredient was added for a purpose. Cacao and chai for mood and a microdose of caffeine. Lion's mane for alertness. Cordyceps to help support physical performance. Chaga and reshi to support your immune system. Turmeric for soreness and cinnamon for antioxidants. I love mud water for its taste. It's super cool. I like to throw some honey in there, some nut milk. I maybe use a little oat milk or almond milk. My favorite ingredient is the lion's mane for alertness. I have a little bit right before I come in here and do the pod. And a lot of you guys have been saying, wow, Jeff, how are you so sharp? When you come in here and do these podcasts, you're like a damn genius. I owe it all the mud water. Mudwater is Whole30 approved, 100% USDA organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and kosher certified. Mudwater donates monthly to the Berkeley Center for Science of Psychedelics as Mudwater believes the country is in a mental health epidemic. And I, I, I side with them. I agree. Everybody's on their phones all day. Everybody's in a mental health epidemic. Mudwater sees psychedelics and useful tools for individuals with depression, PTSD, anxiety, and other mental health problems. Go to mudwater.com slash Jeff to support the show and use code Jeff for 15% off. That's code Jeff at mudwater.com slash Jeff for 15% off. Thank you, Mudwater, for sponsoring the show. Uh, we have these chips, and they're super good tasting. You can't. Um, I'm sorry. I know damn well you ain't saying no. You're on payroll. You guys already. have been. Bro. Have you done it yet? No, have you? Kyle, come out. Open that door. Come. Maybe he, you can sit out here for this Dude. one, Kyle. Come out. Y'all are doing it too, right? Yeah, everyone course. is. Yeah, give me another one because you probably put something in it. I don't trust you. I really don't. Fuck. Take whichever it's one you want. Put I'm magic not, mushrooms. It's already in a yeah, spicy hot chip. Mushrooms in it or something. What am I gonna do? A prank on the on the thing? It has mushrooms or something? Has mushrooms in it? Mushrooms. No, I'm not, oh, Stephen. It's a spicy hot chip. You're gonna freak out already from eating it. I'm not. Hey, why did you bring such a big thing of water? Came get, prepared. Give him a second. Oh, you knew. Uh, here you go. Wait, is there a I was gonna help. Oscar, get one I here. I think you should buy Oscar. Oh, thanks. This is from my new uh, merch that's Oscar, coming out. Hey, wait, chip? can I plug merch on here? Yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah. I have a new drop coming out. Make it quick. Uh, look at the back of it, bro. Clocked in, clocked in, clocked in. <laughs> you don't need to read it. Oh, no, okay. I just, well, I just, for people that are doing uh, audio listeners, I haven't done merch in a year, but I'm doing more aligned with cool shit. Like Mars Attacks, the movie, gag, gag. Somebody in your audience has seen it. But. We got these spicy hot chips, and supposedly they're supposed to be so hot that, you know, you freak out. But what's the big deal? We're a bunch of tough guys over here. A chip ain't gonna Dude, make or break is... us. Oh, damn, that is a... Wait, wait, wait is there a milk? Ew. This is not supposed to, like, touch these. Uh, is there anything else we want to get into today? Should we do the weather segment? Oscar, I think we got to at least get the... Let's get the weather out of the way. Should we talk a little about Hurricane Ian? You see that Lamborghini floated away? That was crazy. Man, what do you do if you just go... It wasn't with- a Lamborghini, <laughs> it was a McLaren. Even oh, worse. Just under fucking water, dude. Wait, I thought it was Hurricane Dian. Yeah, I heard that one, too. No, it's not Hurricane Dian. Hurricane Dian with his dick in your mouth. Wow. Nice, wow. nice. He finally back. got it right. <laughs> He's yeah. back, yeah. dude. Now yeah, we're but flowing. Every, yeah, but all jokes so. aside, for everybody out there in Florida right now, yeah, it's obviously a serious situation. A lot of people without power and a lot of serious shit going on down there. So prayers to everyone, uh, and our thoughts yeah. are with you. We are eating this Florida chip right now. for Florida. Mm-hmm. All right, is that for, is that disrespectful to say? I don't think. Should we call Chad? I guess I maybe like. our backup weatherman. He's training for his fight. Speaking of Chad, we did the press conference uh, yesterday. I think. Or two days ago. Are you going to London? I'm going to London, yeah. When? I'm going to London to be in his corner. I'm his head coach. Uh, I'll be there the 12th. He didn't answer. No. <coughs> Whoa. We got no weather segment today, but who fucking throat. needs it, huh? All right, everybody. Let's just get into it, huh? I mean, do, is there like an announcement or something? Do we I, do a countdown? God bless. A prayer. I've already done this twice, by the way. Actually? Is it, is it as bad as... No. No, no it's not bad at all. Got it all done. All right, here we go. I'm the leader of the pack, so I guess I'll oh, go first. Oh, smells so bad. All right, let's just do it, huh? Let's just 
rip into it. But you have to eat the whole chip. It's a one chip challenge. We're doing the whole chip. Everyone, I'm not doing it. If you're not doing it, I'm not doing it. Yeah, the whole chip. Whoa, bro. Shut up. Go for it. Stop fucking around. Everybody eat it. Uh, it smells so bad. <laughs> I'm not good at this stuff. Oh my god, just chewing it. I would never do that. What's it? Why do they make this? I'm just gonna watch you guys do them. No, Oscar, you <laughs> have to do it. You have to do it. So, oh, I just swallowed. Fuck. Huh. Nobody got milk? Mm -mm. Do we actually have no milk or was that a joke for Mike? Wait, wait. No, no, we don't have any milk. milk. We don't have any milk. <laughs> bro, <laughs> why do we get milk? <coughs> we you up. took a tiny little nibble, bro. You didn't even Finish. take I'm the host of the show. Look at how much I ate. Mm -mm. No, I forgot. Uh, Steven, what the fuck? Eat it like everybody else, bro. That's fucked up, bro. I take back everything I said then if you don't finish it. Steven, please. Good. You, back. Uh, you eat the whole chip? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Steven, if you eat the whole chip, I'll repost your TikTok. No, I don't care. This ain't even worthy of a TikTok <sighs> out of it. Why did I fucking do that? You're a warrior, bro. The more you talk, the harder it is. You're really handling this well, Mike. I'll be done it quite before. You didn't eat fucking nothing. It's That's all in your head. It's all in your head. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Give me that ice cream. Me, ice cream. Oh, yeah. What did you just spit out? Are you faking? Oh. Uh. <coughs> oh, my tongue is blue. It's coming out on the ice cream. Nah. This is pain lasts an hour. An hour? Yeah. So what's, what's the other news? What, you guys see that new Jeffrey Dahmer show? <laughs> you know, the Gangster Paradise guy died. Oh, Coolio. Um, yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, RIP Coolio. How did he die? Um, I don't know. Drive by Twitter. You're 59, uh, dude. Steven, you need the whole chip. I'm suffering right now. No, Steven only ate one bite. I'm going to be honest, I didn't even eat any of it. Yeah, well, I, I, chewed, I chewed a bunch of pistachio shells that I had left over. You're I've dick. already done this six times. Whatever, we don't give a fuck if you did it or not. We gave you a nice spooky weekend that drove you crazy. Yeah. Sorry for that. It's your loss, bro. Wait, Everybody at home watching this is gonna be like, "Damn, L Mike." Mike. Never, I've already done it eight times. It's all on video. Never seen it. It's on Logan's well, YouTube. My nose is running. No, I got deplatformed. Didn't see it. <laughs> I got raged after 2017. Look, uh, my tongue, bro. Ow, ah. Bro, my lips. Fuck. Doesn't go away, huh? No. No, it literally is never gonna go away. You how, know what? how are we gonna continue the show? You know Nobody wants to hear a podcast like this. You guys are to pay your dues. You know, I think like when it. When is my life gonna stop being so chaotic? Oh, I you know? I I I'm please, on level please. three. Oh, this is not helping. I'm not getting up, bro. You know what I'm saying, Mike? Dude, I had the tiniest yeah, amount yeah. on my fingers, and it got on one of these, and my mouth is done. Oh, so you're struggling too? Yeah, but not. Uh! Oh. Oh. Damn, oh. you knocked the chip right into my palm. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one who ate a whole chip? Yeah, That's so much better. Oscar oh, great too. Bro, my nose is leaking right now. We did Damn, an bro! Oh my god, dude! I had the. T oh, yeah, so look at my finger. It's from fucking around. Dude, look. I fucked myself <laughs> all I fucked myself all joking around. You gonna blame me for that? Yeah, you gonna cut my chip finger on off. your thumb? Zoom in. I wish it went in the in the open wound. That'd it's be not nice. Bad. It's just in your head, bro. It's, it's like, like being tongue. drunk. Like, uh, I'm just kidding, give me that, bro. <laughs> this was a good bonding experience. Right. This is so dumb to do on a podcast. Uh-oh. Chocolate's better. Uh, that's making it worse. Ah. Uh, uh, you guys are struggling a lot more than I am. Uh, I'm in pain. Is that helping? No. It's, like, it's only like a temporary fix. Yeah, I was about to say temporary. It's a temporary fix to a problem. It's a temporary fix. It's, it's, it's right now. an addiction. It's like an addiction. We started off today. <laughs> at each other's throats. I woke up and I said, when is it going to fucking end? When is my life going to calm down? I'm on level three. No. I can't be eating fucking spicy chips, dealing with 21-year-old drama, beefs happening, spooky pranks. My life has been a roller coaster for the past 10 years. When is it going to calm down? When am I just going to have a simple life? Do you feel like you've life? aged a lot in the past two years? Yeah, you have too. I've been <laughs> you seeing, saw the uh, video I posted bit. with the old stuff? Oh, yeah. Do you all know what it is? It was the, It's the beard. Like, if we shaved our faces, we'd be 12 again. Uh, uh, My mouth is on fire from the uh, tiniest shred uh, of stuff. <laughs> what does Travis Scott say? Yeah. It's lit. Yeah. <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. Yeah. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Get eat, the fuck out of here, the Oscar. Shit, Get the bro. fuck out of here. It's not as bad as please, I thought please. it was. No, Oscar, bro, you Oscar can't. Oscar too. 
How? Steven, you got a whole uh, ice cream I need sandwich. Paper towels. I need paper towels. Here, I Dude, I got just the right amount. It acted as a nasal decongestion, decongestant, but it's not. Oh, yeah, but it's not stressing me out. You think this could cure COVID? Yeah, this. You could use this, bro. No, I mean, who knows, bro? Have they actually tried this? To defend against any viral. No, it's a good point. I think we rely too much on things that have been tested, not enough on things that haven't. I feel it's going through my body, eating up my intestines. Bro, I feel like I made out with a campfire. Oscar, give me a house music song. <laughs> I feel like I made out with a campfire. It's a spooky season. Get your pumpkin spice. This music reminds me of me getting out some Mike's Lake. Have you talked to the Italian girl? Yeah. How's that going? They put subtitles on FaceTime now. <laughs> they so serious. Yeah, you could FaceTime and uh, you, everything that you say is it comes up as text. Wait, so yeah. it doesn't translate it yet. What? But yeah, it's a new it's on the new update. So that's kind of cool. Oscar showed me yesterday. I have it. Bro, Steve nice. Jobs is killing it. Bro, they're just figuring out everything. Yeah, it's they almost, took our slogan. Yeah, Apple did. Figure we out. are figuring out everything. It's almost too much. What you are you know? doing with this particular segment of this podcast where we're just sitting here listening to the music? I mean, this is the spicy stuff. <laughs> is this you know? the stuff you want? <laughs> My nose is leaking. <laughs> Ew, I saw it shoot out when yeah, you said like, that. Uh, ice cream over your beard. I don't give a fuck about my beard right now. My nose, like... Sinus is on fire. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of good now. I'm coming down from it, and I'm back to normal. Is your tongue not burning? Yeah, it's burning. Everything's burning. My intestines are burning. But you know what it is? I'm a professional. I come in here. I got a show to do. Where do this chocolate and ice cream come from? How's it even in my house? <laughs> yeah, why is that all here? Uh, <laughs> it that's helps not, with the spice. That's the only thing they had. They didn't have any milk. Oh, you bought all this shit? We yeah. Oh, okay. They didn't have nice. any milk, and then like some old guys like buy some ice cream. If you want to rap, it's it's all good. Really? I have that opportunity right now? Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, well, in that case... In that case, I seen his face. It might have been laced. I hope it wasn't, because that's my cousin. I, oh, what did you rapping. say if I want to what? Oh, no, rap. yeah, rap. Like, keep going. You're good. I'm on the table with my feet. It's a fable. Got a things wrapped in foil, made with oil. Bury that bitch in some soil. Treat me like the king, because I'm royal. I feel good. I feel good about how today went. Things have been complicated over the past couple days around here. Oh, chocolate's worse, actually. Yeah, it's, it's making it worse. It's not helping at all. Making it worse, gifting me the, a curse. Me, me the Eating yeah. hot chips, talking hot clips. See things on the internet. Get a fishing net, catch some big fish. New way. Hang out with Trish, pay this. Ooh. Have a baby named Malibu, Goo Goo. Said the baby, hoo hoo. Boo hoo, said the crying man, Steven. We ain't even, we bout to get even. Steven uh, and Kyle sure. arguing on the balcony. Dimer, if I see a girl I like, I'm a bomber with mostly Bro. love, but mm. a- what? Is that a threat? I mean, bomber with love, is that not okay? I guess it's fine. Do you want to do one more word before I leave? No. You no. guys can be any word. Orange. Orange, nothing rhymes with orange, but I'm eating porridge. I'm a bear. You're eating porridge. What does let's, that mean? Let's, uh, that's oh, it? You're laugh. just gonna walk off the show? <laughs> well, alright. Thanks for having me again, man. I know it's been, what, almost probably I'm over a month since the last time I was on. Right? Yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for having me, man. We got a good thing going here. You do the vlogs, I do the podcast and the vlogs. It's all, it's actually weird because when you do my vlogs, you're also doing your own vlogs. It's almost like if I came in here but also was shooting impulsive on the side. You know what I'm saying? It's not really an even trade-off, but I'll let it go. Also, every time I come and do the show, I have to pay $22 to get out of the garage. Why don't pretty, you take the parking much validations? Lose, lose yeah, me, you dude. do the $20. I just lose constantly. I have bro. parking validations here. You should where? Where's the, you you, gotta, you, where's the receptionist? I haven't seen her today. Job. They're in that drawer right by the refrigerator. The receptionist is in the drawer. <laughs> what do you got to fucking... The parking validations. Ow! Bro, I can't even hear what you're saying right now. All I fucking hear is just... Well, give me a fucking validation. I don't want to pay that shit. Go out there, Dude. grab a parking validation. Thanks for doing the show. Thanks, everybody. And thanks to the Jeff <laughs> FM audience, the smartest, fastest, oh, wow. honest audience. You got a, a little alfalfa going from the headphones. It's well, funny. that's good. That means there's hair back there. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that get that trimmed up from a professional barber that won't slice your thumb off, yeah. you know? I actually, you know that's where I'm going right now. <coughs> yeah. Caputo. Shout out. Hey, shout out Kyle Caputo, my barber. Thanks for never cutting my finger off like my friend Jeff. He's a nice kid. I'll leave it in. All That's right. what we call a confession. All right, let's wrap it up. We got uh, some exciting stuff happening this next month coming up. So get on the Discord. We want you guys calling in for these next uh, next few episodes. And no more spicy chips. 
Discord links in the description. You go down to uh, the description and check the Discord link. And that's it for the show. Thank you guys for he listening. I love you all. I love my life. Maybe let just eat some spicy some chips and hang out with the boys. Life, we can get through anything. Us, now it's Jeff FM. Uh, Jeff FM.